we're here to pay tribute to uh, to Jim Cummings, but we would be remiss if we didn't uh, throw a bit of a shout out to the great Sterling Holloway, as we've been talking about. Oh, I absolutely. mean, absolutely. He metaphorically sort of passed the uh, the torch to you, Jim, but you never actually sort of got a chance to shake hands or really sort of discuss anything like that. But you did meet mm. once, or sort of meet once. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, true enough. Uh, this is many years ago, and I was I wasn't even in the business, so it hadn't was thinking about it. But I hadn't made my first demo tape, and my wife and I were down mm. in Laguna Beach, California, which is is where he he lived, and we were sitting there thinking that we're in this little diner, thinking we're all alone. And uh, the waitress walks over and says to a corner booth, couldn't see who was in there, well, have we decided yet what we're going to have? And and I hear this little voice going, yes, I believe I shall have the chowder. And I looked at her and I went, you know, and, and <laughs> so I very stealthily got up and walked across the restaurant and grabbed the salt and pepper off a table. And I looked over there, and there was Sterling. And he's sitting there, and he's got this gigantic tuft of bright white hair. And he yeah. was all dressed in white. And, you know, it was it was surreal. I, I mean, because I'd seen him on camera. He, he, he did some, he was always a character actor anyway. Yeah. And, uh, and, and he was there, and he gave me a big smile. You know, and I gave him a big smile. He like he he stupid, you know, <laughs> he idiot yeah. smile of mine. And then I went back and I went, That's what it about. It's it's Bruce Sterling Holloway. And, and she said, Winnie who? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, she better not have said that. No, everybody knew. But um and that was it. And and of course I'd I'd, I'd give a lot to go back and relive that moment and say, Well, thank you for all the the you know, but he was alone. He didn't you know, he didn't didn't look like he felt like being fanned fanboyed, which is what I would have done. <laughs>